All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another video from AA Sports Cards. I'm going to try to do something a little different today. Instead of just uh, focusing on one consignment collection that's been sent to us, you're actually seeing parts of three different consignments that I am working on all at the same time. Trust me, I've got it all going on, got it all together. I'm, uh, I'm focused. I want to use a hockey cliche. We're, uh, we're playing the right way. Uh, we're focused one game at a time. Not one consignment at a time, but three consignments at a time. But I've, I've got it down. Anyway, uh, these are the highlights of, of some. And um, I'm eager to start working on this one. I was looking forward to getting it from the gentleman because... It is really sort of a tease, a dip uh, in a toe, a dip of a toe in the water to what uh, else is going to be coming from this collection. And it is really heavily focused on the World Hockey Association. And just to give a little tease, here is the famous blue puck from that uh, crazy World Hockey Association that they used decades before Fox came up with uh, a puck you could track. This was actually a good idea, a blue puck, and there's red pucks coming too that uh, were easier on the eye for some of the markets like Birmingham or Cincinnati who didn't have hockey or professional hockey really. Um, they, the thinking I guess was they could follow the puck much quicker. So there is a blue puck that will be coming very soon. The highlight of the collection in my mind is a ticket to, this is from the 1974 Summit Series. This was, I actually want to put this down and show, show something that might make more sense. So two years after the 1972 Summit Series, where the NHL played the Soviet Union, the, um, the WHA, had their turn and they put together an all-star team including Gordy Howe and Bobby Hull uh, and Jerry Cheevers, players who were unable to play in the Summit Series. This is the program from the, the game and it's in a plastic bag and I'm going to take it out carefully, although the program is not high grade. so. You can't really hurt it more than it is. But anyway, this is the program from the game. And the program's cool. You know, it actually is, I mean, it's beautiful. It's got lots of color pictures and, you know, the team rosters and everything like that. And that's cool. But you see it. It's around. I've had it many, many times. But I've never had this before. And I hope the camera is getting a really good picture of that. This is a ticket from the uh, 74 Summit Series from Russia. Uh, if I was a collector, this would be something that I would want. There is the back. There is the front. Don't ask, don't ask me what it says, but it's a ticket to the game. It is going to be sold with the program. And there is also from the same series, there's a schedule uh, in there. Some of the other pieces from this collection, and we will show these in a minute because they're different things. But um, another interesting part of this collection is a partial set of the 1972 Opichi team logos from the WHA. These are very hard to find, very saleable. That is gorgeous. And you will see these on eBay. That's something else I want to show. You will see these on eBay very, very shortly under our user ID, Vahuda, of course. So we'll put that there. This is a ticket from, we'll have to do some research on this. Canada versus the USSR. Not sure what series that's from. It doesn't look like it's some series ticket, but it may be. The date's right. So we'll have to see on that. That'll be fun to do some research. 
And then in addition to, oh, one more WHA logo. In addition to the WHA material, which there is a plethora of, and which I'm very much hoping we'll get the opportunity to sell more for, you will see a nice collection of young guns, you know, sort of the old and the modern, but we've got a nice collection of young guns, Kyle Connor, the great Nathan McKinnon. We have someone near and dear to me, Brock Besser, Adam Fox, and several others. Uh, I guess Nikita Kucherov. So these will be coming up again for sale on eBay very shortly. There is a McDavid trilogy card. Okay, so we'll put that there. So that is, uh, oh, there's a schedule from the, the, the WHA Russia series as well, which will also go with that program and the ticket. All right, so let's put that consignment down for a minute. Let's focus on another consignment we just recently received. There are some highlights from it here. I'm not going to show everything, but I'm showing this. This looks like it is a dynamite card. I'm a little worried about the thick holder. Um, you know, over time, these screws may have recessed down on the card. I guess it depends. We've had some issues with PSA not wanting to grade cards that are in these thick holders. I'm really hoping that won't be the case here because this card looks dynamite. 1979-80 Topps Wayne Gretzky rookie card. The unopened Opeachy case has just closed for about, what, $3.2 million or something. So again, there's always interest in this card. It's not the Opeachy card, but there's always interest in Gretzky rookies, especially now with the national media focusing on the sale of that case. This card, by the way, right after this video is filmed, the paperwork will be done to get that sent to PSA and get graded. Some of the other things in this consignment that you will see on eBay very soon include a partial set, probably getting some clear there, a partial set of 1960 Topps Hockey, always a very good seller, a very hard year to find, and something that, um, you know, is a little under the radar, but we've always done well with it. Uh, a nice collection of Opeachy box bottoms. And the highlight of this one is going to be the 1985-86 set with, of course, let me get to them. There's multiples. Well, there's three Gretzkys, but four Gretzkys, five Gretzkys, six Gretzkys. This is the one that I wanted to show. That's the Mario Lemieux box bottom, the same year as the Rookie but I don't know if the camera, or I missed that, but there are multiples of the Wayne Gretzky here. Different poses than the regular issue cards, of course. There's other years as well, but the Mario Lemieux, pre, or Mario Lemieux other rookie card is the highlight. You will see all of this on eBay under our user ID, Vahuda, very shortly. And again, just a, you know, Couple piles of different vintage cards here. There's a Dave Keon, 1962. You will see these up for sale very soon. So there is that. Now, hang in there with me, guys, because this is some very cool stuff. So this is part of a collection I've already been working on, and I wanted to make a video of it, but we got so busy and, you know, we needed to get some work done. Sometimes, um, you know, you get fixated on cards like this that are, you know, bought and sold very actively and are expensive, let's, let's face it. But sometimes collecting can also be just about how something makes you feel, the eye appeal of it. The, it, it stuff like this is not going to sell for nearly the same amount of money as that but it doesn't make it any less awesome. So in this collection, in this massive consignment that you've already, if you follow our auctions on eBay, we've been selling some uh, checks photos from it. We've been selling uh, a lot of cool things, but 
We haven't started selling these yet, and I just, I'm falling in love with these. This is the largest collection of press photos I've ever had. Um, almost every team in the NHL is, is um, in the collection. This is Boston. Of course, Bob, you were leading on top. And again, just to give you a, an idea of what these all look like. But just, again, something doesn't have to always be expensive. It can just make you want to collect it just for the eye appeal of it. This was an interesting one. This is Detroit from 1970. And in 1970, this was an interesting team because you had Gordie Howe at the end of his career. Frank Mahovlich getting up there. Alex Del Vecchio near the end of his career. There's two different Del Vecchios. And then you had Marcel Dion as a rookie. So the same year as his Opeachy rookie card, you had Marcel Dion coming into, into the league and onto the Detroit Red Wings at the same time as you had the old guard, like Del Vecchio and Howe. I just find that really interesting. And there's so much to go through on these, but again, there's so many of them and I don't want to make the videos so, so long, but this one was awesome. I mean, I don't know if Jack Kent Cook insisted on being part of this set from an ego thing because no other management is pictured in these, but I mean, that's his arena. And I don't know if people watch the HBO show Winning Time. I did. I thought it was great. So that's Jack Kent Cook. And this one, I, I want to hold that back for a second, but this is the Los Angeles Kings. And I was going through it and I was thinking, well, the other ones are from the early, you know, 1970 or 1971. I was going through this and I was thinking, I wonder if Terry Sawchuk is in this set. But then, you know, I think he only played for the Kings for one year, 1968. And then as I went through it and went through it, look what I found. I might keep that. I'm not going to, but I want to. I just think that's awesome. He's smiling. He looks pretty happy. He's in that fantastic Los Angeles Kings jersey. Even in black and white, you can still tell that this jersey was going to really pop when, when if you had the opportunity to see it in color. It just looks so detailed and so fantastic. So I love that. That's the Los Angeles Kings. And again, there is a, a huge pile of these. This is the rest of them. So just, just really quickly again, because they're so cool. There's an early Daryl Sittler. For goalie collectors, I mean, there's going to be a plethora of photos. And again, just fantastic stuff. So this collection will be coming up for sale very soon. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do it, whether it's by team or as one large collection. One other, a couple other things from this collection. There are several sets of Montreal Canadiens postcards sent, I'm assuming, right from the Montreal Forum or from the team in the original envelope. We have one set up on eBay right now from 1964, but this is what these look like inside the original envelopes. Again, all part of the same collection. And the final thing in this collection that I wanted to show is, and I'm not gonna pull them out, I just want the camera to maybe see if they can dig in there. About 140 beehive photos. Mostly group two, but if you if you look at the bottom, you can see some wood grains back there. A huge chunk of beehives, which we have to get to as well. Probably we will do these by team, but again, you know, I'm just swimming in stuff and I'm so happy that I get to work on all these things. So happy that people have trusted me to send me they're phenomenal items. Whoops, let's just pull this out again. Rare items that I just love working on and appreciate all three consigners sending me this stuff. All of this will be available either now or shortly. Go to eBay, look up Vahuda, V-A-H-O-O-T-A. That's our user ID on eBay. It's where you'll find all of this stuff up for auction. 
Thank you everybody for watching. We'll be back real soon with more videos and take care and we'll see you soon.